Hey guys, welcome, welcome, welcome. This is Mark, Crypto Boy in Oz. And today I'm doing an intro. An intro to the YouTube channel and an intro into myself because I just wanted to, I wanted you guys to actually know my story and where I've come from and how I've got where I am. And so I'm not successful. Um, well, I'm successful to myself is I'm quite happy with where I am and what I've achieved and what I've got. I've got a beautiful wife. I've got a beautiful daughter. We'll live in a beautiful house. We'll live in a beautiful country. Um, so we've kind of got everything that most people would dream of. Um, the difference being I've not got financial freedom. And I don't know when it started to change. And you're probably asking when what started to change? Well, my mindset, my mindset, my mindset started to shift. Um, and some people call, call me a dreamer. Um, but I think people that don't dream will never achieve anything that's life changing. And I think everybody should be dreaming and those dreams should be achievable to a degree and, and should be something that you aim towards and for people that people that don't dream that are just happy and content going to work nine to five and bringing home an income that barely covers the food on the table and if a bit with a bit of luck it might be able to send them on a summer holiday for two weeks a year if people are happy with that I actually think they're deceiving themselves because I don't think they are I just think people get stuck in a rut and they don't know how to get out of it they just they just carry on. They just, it's like existence. You wake up, it, basically it's ground dog day. So you, you wake up and you do the same thing every day. You go to sleep, you wake up, you do the same thing every day. You go to sleep, you wake up, see where I'm going. And I think it's a bit like, it reminds me a bit like the Matrix. Like everybody's just plugged in. They're on life support. They fed a, they fed a narrative. And they don't actually know that that is not reality or it doesn't have to be reality. It's, it's, it's been hammered into them from day one. They got, you start, you start going to school. You're, you're given these, you're given these subjects that you've got to learn. Um, everybody's telling you the same thing. You need to do well at school. Uh, if you do well at school, then you can choose to go to a good university and maybe you can get a good job, and when you've got a good job, that'll that'll um, that proves you've got you're successful, and you can retire when you're sixty five, seventy. It's a narrative that more or less everybody everybody follows, and nobody questions it. It's as if I don't know. It's as, it it's as if it's like if you put it into digital context, like existence, it's as if a programs that's a program has been written that is never, ever been able to be overwritten. It's been written once. It's a bit like, I suppose it's a bit like Bitcoin. It's, it's been written once and it can't be changed. It just goes forward. And with Bitcoin's case, that's its success. Um, it's, it's not changed. It can't be changed. It's digital gold. And Bitcoin is probably the exception where it doesn't need to change. But the overall view of society and what is deemed um, normal doesn't have to be the same. Like we've had, we've had the industrial revolution. And from that then came the techno technological revolution. And not a lot's changed in between. Like the fundamentals of learning hasn't changed, but the advancements of society have severely changed and they've changed for the better. But it's like, it's like the system which kind of underpins society is still the same. It's not advanced at the same level that what we have as, as, as people and the technology that we use and, it's got to get worse because, I mean, I'm 44. I mean, I'm pretty savvy on technology. I grew up, I grew up um, my late teens with a PC and 
I mean the 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 new the new the new world as you put it like with um social media and how people choose to work and like people can generate income just through producing content on YouTube like this is this is the future and this is how a lot of incomes are going to be generated and there's no school that recognizes this entrepreneurship because it is like people that produce content on YouTube, they're entrepreneurs and they don't actually know it. It's, it's a mind. That's what I keep saying. It's a mindset. And how do you teach a mindset? Um, it's difficult. It's a belief system. And I think what's happening is the younger generation, the mindset is already ingrained in them from day one. So going to school and doing the traditional school system is going to even going to seem even more useless. So changing that, I think, is going to be the first step into changing how people think, how people behave, and fundamentally how people earn a living. And it won't be the traditional sense. It won't be going to work nine to five. It will be based around creating some kind of business. And it's on, and it's without seeming like we're getting away from face to face contact and being surrounded by other people in the workplace. I think that's what is going to happen over time. I think most, most, um, wealth generating tools are going to be done in some form of another using the internet and online and creating content, uh, creating websites. And you can't even imagine where, where it's going to go in 10 years from now, because where we are now, you couldn't have imagined 10 years ago that people could be millionaires or have a degree of income which surpasses doctors, nurses, um, surgeons, um, fund managers. You would not have imagined 10 years ago that somebody that produces YouTube content, which is basically waking up every day and doing something that they love, generating an income that surpasses somebody that's actually been to school, been to university, perhaps perhaps um got in got to like 30 35 years old before they actually start earning this what they class as high income compared to general people that earn minimum wage but then you've got some you've got someone on the other hand that is doing something that they love that is passionate that they've got this entre entrepreneurial mindset and i think i think what's going to happen. It's not going to be known. It's not really going to be thought upon as an ultra entrepreneurial mindset. I just think it's going to be the mindset itself has just changed and people want to do something where they can actually have a degree of, um, life changing wealth before they're too, they're too old to spend it. I mean, the thought, the thought of actually retiring at 65, 70, even with, even with, even with life changing wealth, say, say you do something in your job, your career where you, you retire and you, you, you've got an income which surpasses your expectations, your life when you're 65, 70, what you want to do now is not what you want to go to is not what you want to go to do at 65 70 or you're not going to be capable of doing it at 65 70 so the whole point the whole point of um this this intro is just to explain that I don't want that and I think it took to me getting to 35 36 37 to realize that there's more to life um I want more I want life changing wealth. I want to be able to wake up every day and do what I damn well want. I don't want to, I don't want to work for myself and get paid for my time. So I, I get a, a certain rate for a day, a day. And I don't want that. I don't want you. I don't want you to think you've got to go to work for minimum wage and do that for the rest of your life. We're not sheep. But the problem is we've been programmed to be sheep. 
and the program's got to change. This, this program that we all exist in, whether if you're a believer or not in the matrix and you think we are all plugged in, or reality is this is reality, we're still in a program. And the program has been dictated to us by government after government um, around the world. And everybody is programmed to be a sheep, to go to work, to support the fat cats, to give the institutions and the corporations the lifestyles that they're used to and accustomed to. And it's us minions, us sheep, that keep the hierarchy of the global society how it is. The 99% feed the 1%. And that's got to change. And I think with cryptocurrency, it's like a revolution. It is a change and it is going to change. The world is going to change with cryptocurrency. Or I shouldn't say currency, I should say crypto assets. Because it's um, it's a complete shift in government-run institutions. Now, I'm not saying there's no need for government. I don't, I'm not a complete anarchist. We need control. We need we need order. But how governments control the wealth of its citizens throughout the world is not sustainable, especially with all the dollar printing at the minute. The, the currencies, they're not backed by any asset at all. They just printed and printed and printed and governments have run on debt. It's not it's not sustainable. I mean the the reserves. I mean I think in America it's the Federal Reserve that prints money, and then they loan that to the government, and then they pay it back in bonds. Now I'm not I'm not um, really financial literate, but I'm presu- I, I, well I'm pretty sure that's what happens, and I think that's what happens around the world. No one's got no one's got the reserves in um, gold, silver. Um, in the vaults to support the, the amount of money printing that's that's happening in the world. And I'm not saying they've had any choice in that with how they've had to lock everybody up and no one's been able to earn an income. Companies haven't been able to generate any form of income. So they've had to do money printing, but it, it, it can't be sustained. It's impossible. You can't, you can't just print money forever and not have no consequences and i think cryptocurrency and bitcoin or bitcoin primarily that started the revolution back in 20 well 2008 when it started and i think now it's getting traction and for me it's when we moved to australia from the uk and i think it was a pure coincidence but when we got to australia i don't know if australia has done something to me um, like when we, um, landed in Australia, cause I think moving, when you, when you make, when you make a decision to change your life and you're giving up, you're giving up everything that's comfortable to you. Like in the UK, I had a successful business with my dad. Um, I had, I had good friendships. I had my family and we kind of give it all up for a better life. Um, now I'm actually thinking back. I mean, this is me spitballing. I'm thinking on the fly. But now I'm thinking back. Was it that Was it that catalyst? Was it that moment in time where me making, me and Karina, my wife, making a con- conscious decision to give ourselves a better life? Is that what has actually snowballed? And I've got to Australia I have, I have got this better life um, for myself and my family. But as it kind of snowballed to the point where I know even though I've got this better life, it's still not enough. And I think maybe that is, that's true. And I think that's maybe the turning point where, because in, in a couple of years after I got here, um, so 2014, so 2016, I started looking into ways of making like extra passive incomes and I started looking at Shopify stores. And then in 20, 2017, um, I joined a group where I started um, looking at having online businesses and I got myself an online business um, on Amazon and I've, I've still got it to this day. So that's when it all started in 2018 while I were doing the Amazon. And then I started getting into 
um, cryptocurrency. And it was just after the, obviously the peak. And I got into it just a bit late and the prices crashed and I kind of lost interest. But my Amazon business carried on ticking over. And then earlier this year, I'm thinking this Amazon business, it's, it's, it's too slow. It's picking up. It's giving me, it's giving me extra income while I'm sleeping, which is brilliant. Um, it's paid for, it's paying for us a nice new car, um, which again is brilliant, but it's not life changing wealth. And will, will Amazon give me life, life changing wealth? Possibly, but not just yet. And then I started getting interested back into, back into crypto again. And since I have, then that is when I've de- I've like delved really deep and started looking at behind the scenes, if you will. So a lot of people don't look behind the scenes. They look on Robinhood, they look on Coin Coinbase, and they see a coin and they look on Coin Market Cap and they see something that's pumping, so they're jumping and jumping on the back of it. Um, now I want life changing wealth, and I want to make I want to make um my life improve with a financial um boost from crypto assets but the more i get into crypto the more i'm interested in it as well and i think it's i think it's having this passion and this interest and you feel part of um you feel part of a community i i personally feel part of a community even though i don't physically speak to anybody on a personal level about it apart from like people that are like that have got us friends and my wife, but they've not got any interest in it. And they look at me and I think, yeah, well, they're listening to me, but they just think it's some Ponzi scheme or some scam or something that's run by um, the mafia or drug cartels. And it's not the same thing. So when I'm, that that's one of the reasons why I started producing content because I want to, I want to show how, how I feel and I'm not, I'm not like an expert in any field. I've not been doing it for long enough to form, um, I suppose, opinions what are going to necessarily change your belief in the same things that I believe in. But it gives you it gives you a bridge to think, oh, well, this guy's doing it. He believes in it. He's got some strong views. Um, I kind of understand why. He's doing what he's doing. He wants to, he wants life changing wealth. He wants to, he wants to change his life for his, for himself and his family. But it's more than that. It's, I found, I found a place where I feel comfortable and a place where I enjoy talking about, um, crypto, crypto assets and where it's going to, where it's going to go in the future. And I think looking back in looking back at this in ten years, it'd be like, well, it's completely obvious. Like it's obvious where cryptocurrency was going, but that's what hindsight is. Everything's obvious when you look in your rear view mirror, and you can see everything that's been mapped out before you. But at, the, at the, this moment now, for a lot of people that aren't in the game, they just look at what's published on on media media outlets, and then. When I'm talking, I mean, you get crypto media outlets that are publishing all the time, but then you get big news outlets that pick up on some of these stories that don't really know what they're talking about. Um, and it's it's down to people on on YouTube that have got some kind of influential status that can kind of help guide people with without all the fud, without all the rubbish, help guide people into making conscious decisions that that will actually help themselves and help the family and give, give, give life changing wealth. So that's, that's my story. If you share my beliefs, you might not share all of them. You might have completely, completely different goals. Um, like you, obviously you got to want life changing wealth, but you might not, you might not want to wait four years for it to happen. You might want it like now, which is probably being a bit unrealistic. But if you're watching this channel, that you've got some, you've got some vested interest in um, crypto assets, 
you don't think it's all completely pie in the sky because if you did I don't think you'd have given this video the time of day you'd have just thought oh it's a typical um it's a typical youtuber just blowing his own trumpet wanting to get his content out there in front of everybody and it's not like that you take me take me as you leave me watch it don't watch it believe what I say or not I, I couldn't I couldn't really care less. I just want to share with you that I'm a genuine, I'm a genuine guy. Um, and crypto, crypto assets are something that I'm passionate about. I'm really interested in. I haven't made life changing wealth yet. I'm still in the early stages where I've invested in everything that I believe is fundamentally sound, solid. It's got good, good founders, good, good developers. Um, it's got a good use case. It's unique. Uh, on the, in the marketplace and it's going to do good things it's going to serve the people it's going to improve people's quality of lives around the world and that's what i'm interested in i, I want everybody to have opportunity and the, the the possibility of um getting out of the rat race doing what you do nine to five what you hate doing i want i want people to have the possibility to possibility to actually change the life for the better and crypto assets is just one avenue and it's the avenue avenue as well as amazon it's one of the avenues that i'm going down and producing content is just something that i'm passionate about passionate about i love talking about it um and i feel like i'm on a wavelength with many people where none of us are experts even even when you think you are nobody knows but i, I just want to associate and be on the same level as probably 95 percent of people out there that are that are investing in crypto so thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed the content if you do watch the rest of my videos um smash the like button as they say but i prefer hit the like button and subscribe to the channel and follow my journey and as i say on most of the videos at some point um invest well but come along for the ride because in one year from now we'll have some kind of improvement in personal wealth and in four years from now we'll have life-changing wealth and that's if we do it together so if we invest invest now and revisit this 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 moment 12 months and then four years from now and we'll we'll hopefully all be laughing so until then Keep watching, subscribe to the channel and thank you very much for your time. Really appreciate it.